Hey guys, what's up? It is G Gamer Zero here, and today I've got another theory. Um, I haven't done one of these in a fair bit, but I've been doing a bit of research lately. I've been um, as a response to my other video. Um, a lot of people think my theory is right. I'm not saying it is. I'm just I'm just assuming things, trying to put the, uh, the pieces together. You know, there might not even be a second bus, but we're under the assumption there might be. Um, first off, first off, I just want to say thank you to my friend Platinum for letting me use his footage. Um, I was going to use a bit of Black Ops 1 footage, like a Dead Ops Arcade, just to change things around because everyone watches Transit. So let me know if you actually want to see that, just, you know, different gameplay apart from just Transit. Even though the things about it, you know, it's still good to see, etc. So I'm going to start off with, um, with where, last time I did what I thought, like, how are we going to use the, the bus, like, if we were to find one. But I was also talking about a, um, a, port, a teleporter, seeing as this game is, ba like, Black Ops 2 in general is based in the future, not this zombie section, but Black Ops 2. I was talking um, about a teleporter. Now, I was watching Hex Zombies video, and this is his footage right here. He goes into theater mode, and he's able to get through a glitch in the wall. And as you can see here, there is a teleport. Now, don't get me wrong, this is right under the power, and it could obviously, like, I'm just saying, could be just the power, uh, you know, the parts to build up the power port. But you actually, it looks so similar to a teleporter that we see in, like, um, in Kino. I mean, I personally think it's just the parts to the power port, um, thing, just the bits to it. But you never know, it's possible that there could be something like this buried under the ground that we have to get to. Now, and, and what I think it is, is this teleporter gets us to, um, to Nuketown. The reason why I say Nuketown, I'm going to show you some footage in a second of, in, in um, transit of all these little signs and symbols that some of you may have picked up on. Now, I'll show it now. In, near the depot where you start off, there's this little bunker thing, well, not bunker, but just this, um, the wall where it says shelter on the top. But if you look into it, there's a staircase going down, and it shows, if it's hard to see here, but it's actually, like, it looks like it's going to its left. So you have to walk down and go to your left. Now, the next clip, I've just paused here to show you that, and the next clip in the tunnel, if you go through, you look here looking, and it says it's another hallway, as if it's, like, behind again. And there's a door there, we can't see what's in the door, but we can see there's a sign there. But if you continue to follow down the um, uh, row, which I'll show you in a second, you're able to see another part of this alley, which um, connects. Now, I think that if there would be a possible breach, or and somehow we can get in here, and look, it says shelter again. Now, you understand in Nuketown, and in the, um, the bunker at the depot, it said shelter on the top. Um, so I think it's possible if we can get a teleporter, maybe we can get in there. And if you watch what I'm going to do here, I end the game so you can see the nuke drop. And... If you look at the bunker closely, it looks like the doors actually open. So have a look now. When the thing drops, I'll slow motion it in a second. But you just look, focus on the bunker, and it's black. It's like pitch black. It looks like as if uh, the door's been opened. Now I'll slow motion that um, in a sec to show you guys. But it, it's as if the uh, door's been um, opened. So maybe uh, you know the tele if we can get the teleporter somehow linking from the second nav card etc from the bus so we can get to a teleporter or somehow get within the bunker and somehow travel or maybe within the bunker there's a teleporter and it teleports you to Nuketown and something ro ro revolves around the nuke and we can somehow get from Nuketown to um, from transit to Nuketown now it's also funny because Treyarch have actually allowed to get Nuketown free download so that's also an unusual move from uh, Treyarch to do that. I mean, it was an exclusive map for pre-orders, and now it's free to download. Well, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Uh, what do you think of this theory? Uh, it's, again, it's just my theory. It's obviously not real. It's just what I assume. I'm trying to put pieces together. Um, but it looks like Treyarch are t kind of pushing us towards there is really no... Um, no second bus theory, but you never know. You know they've always got tricks up their sleeves, like I said. So, thanks for watching. Um, please like and share around with your friends or just with anyone, just so we can all, you know, community group in on this and just talk about it. I'll leave Hex Zombies uh, link in the description. Check him out. He's also got plenty of zombies information if you want to see him. So check him out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, stay again, please.